This company took one of their solid state batteries, put it in a Tesla vehicle. The battery weighed less than the Tesla vehicle and it gave it double the range, literally double the range. And you can buy the battery now. You can jump on their website and you can buy it. This is a fascinating story because now they're making batteries for home and commercial energy storage. And they're about to build a facility in the United States that will truly get the solid state battery revolution well and truly on its way. For $20,000 or about $20 per week, I kid you not, you can get a 12 kilowatt hour solid state battery pack that can power your home. Solid state batteries for energy storage? Really? I've got to say, this is not what I expected. Very surprised by this news. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to the new subscribers. Great to have you. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. And I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Solid state battery technology. Well, in terms of using them in electric cars, we're still a fair few years off. I believe some companies are lying about their technology, and I've talked about that on the channel. And I believe some companies are not. They're telling you the truth, and they will have the solid state batteries they sell they'll have. However, I've got to say, I was surprised to find this news and hear that a US battery maker has just unveiled a solid state battery for energy storage systems in residential use applications. What makes this all the more mysterious is that this company has emerged from stealth mode with plans to manufacture solid state batteries for residential and commercial installations. We all think, we all know, eventually solid state batteries will be used in electric cars. I don't think all of them, but in some. But nobody really expected them to become available within a short period of time for residential energy storage. Amtree City has announced what it says is the first solid state battery for home energy storage. The company plans to deliver its first solid state energy storage systems of up to four gigawatt hours for up to 400,000 homes within the next 30 months. Commercial one megawatt hour demo units are available now to select customers with an announcement coming in the next few weeks on full commercial production. It sounds like this is a go. It's actually happening. The company, which was founded in 2020, only two years ago, and based in Florida, plans to build its first US manufacturing facility by 2024. The company expects to begin producing four gigawatt hours per year in 2024 and ramp up to 16 gigawatt hours. It is reviewing manufacturing site locations in Texas, Arkansas, North Carolina, South Carolina, Arizona, and Tennessee. Now, obviously, the new IRA, Inflation Reduction Act, has helped companies such as this decide they're gonna manufacture these batteries in the US. It's probably helped speed up their time frame as well. That added investment will help them to get things started, get things off the ground. Ever since the IRA was announced, we've seen a massive surge in investment, not only in electric vehicle manufacturing facilities in the US, but also in battery production facilities. In fact, more than $100 billion has been pledged to be invested over the next decade since the IRA was announced. Amp Tri City reports that its next generation solid state battery technology represents eight hour discharge, simultaneous charging and discharging, no thermal runoff, zero toxicity. The batteries are 100% recyclable, fully functional in extreme cold and extreme hot temperatures. And they're a high energy storage efficiency with an annual retention rate of more than 96% percent. That's industry leading. Its proprietary solid state batteries include a cell capacity above 500 amp hours up to 3000 amp hours with an 11,000 deep discharge cycle. They're saying these batteries have more than 11,000 charge cycles before they hit significant battery degradation losses. The company says its home energy storage systems create greater safety and longevity while the average residential systems use lithium ion batteries, which pose a fire risk. Of course, solid state batteries are solid. There's no liquid electrolyte. 
Furthermore, its battery lifespan is three times longer than current lithium ion technologies the company reports. Now the company is probably taking that data of previous technology, important to keep that in mind. A lot of home energy storage systems don't use lithium ion phosphate batteries. If they use lithium ion phosphate batteries, they'll last about three times longer. So it's important. If you buy home energy storage, make sure those batteries are lithium ion phosphate batteries or solid state batteries from this company. They could be good too. Solar PV homeowners will love our solid state energy storage systems because they offer superior performance, are non-explosive, non-flammable, non-toxic, and 100% recyclable. For example, last year in Texas, homeowners suffered blackouts and fatalities from a winter storm due to the power grid's fragility, said Demir Perge, CEO and co-founder of the company. With Amtri City's solid state technology, homeowners can store energy for backup power, whether they have solar PVs or not. Right now, you can order the company's solid state energy storage systems from 12 kilowatt hour batteries up to 48 kilowatt hour batteries and commercial systems from 60 kilowatt hours to 80 kilowatt hours are available for pre-order on their website. Now give you some context, a 48 kilowatt hour battery is about the size of the battery you see in an electric car. That's huge. That would give you enough energy storage for the average homeowner for probably about four or five days. Very unlikely to need that much. Generally, you'd use these battery packs to store energy from the sun and then you'd use that battery, of course, to power your house and basically remove all of your energy costs. The operating range for these batteries, minus 40 degrees Celsius up to 55 degrees Celsius. That's a huge operating range. Amtri City says that they offer the only mass produced solid state batteries for home and commercial energy storage you can buy anywhere in the world. They say that total cost of ownership is 50% of the competition. Now the company actually put one of their battery packs in a Tesla Model S and the battery weighed about 7% less than the battery that they took out. However, the energy density was 34% higher, the weight was reduced by 37 kilos, and the range was improved from 380 kilometers, this was an original Tesla Model S, to 750 kilometers. That's an increase of 97.4%. So how much actually are the battery packs? Well, yeah. They are very, very expensive. If you want a battery pack that's about the average size of the average electric car battery or the average Tesla battery pack, you're looking at a price of 102,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. That's a 60 kilowatt hour pack. Of course, smaller packs are cheaper, but still, you can see why I think my predictions might prove to be correct in the long run. I still believe that solid state batteries won't enter mass production in EVs. They'll enter minor production for luxury vehicles where they can justify a price like that. You can justify that kind of price, right? In a $200,000, $300,000 luxury car or a supercar. But can you justify high prices like that in an affordable car? Can they bring the prices down that much? I don't think so. That's why my prediction is still that these kinds of batteries will only be used for select niche purposes, at least for the next 10 years. And why my, and it's also why I made my video criticizing Toyota and its wild and bogus inaccurate claims. I'll put a link in the description below to my video about Toyota and its so-called solid state battery technology. Now this company here is actually making real batteries. Yes, they're expensive, but it's very different to the mythical Toyota battery. Thank you for watching my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye-bye.